Well, Monday finally made it here, and today's the day. We're heading for Chicago. Um, we have to leave our house around 4-ish this afternoon. So I'm just going to slowly pack all day long and rest and try to keep cool. I'm getting it packed and it's wearing me out. Oh, it's hard work. I got good news. Vanessa's going to come and see me before I leave. So that's any time between now and 3 p.m. And right now it's 10:17. But she'll help me get what I need to get done if I don't already have it done, which will probably be unlikely. I'm laying down with my ice packs on me and the fan on me and just trying to slowly pack one thing at a time. I'm still waiting on Vanessa and Dwayne just texted me that United Airlines called and canceled our reservations for tonight and that they would rebook us to fly out tomorrow morning which can't work because I have, you know, my first appointment early in the morning tomorrow. And he said he complained enough until they finally, they booked, were booked to fly out on American tonight. It's about an hour or two later than what our first flight was, but we'll get there tonight and it's a direct flight. If it isn't one thing, it's another. That reminds me, I need to call our hotel and tell them that we're coming. We're just going to be really, really late. The time has finally arrived and we're heading to the airport. I learned from Shay Carl to always take a picture of where you park so we know where we are when we get back. So there we are, Garage C, Level 2, Section A. The only thing open in the airport in Oklahoma City on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. is Schlotzky's. So I got the Albuquerque turkey minus the red and green peppers, barbecue chips, root beer. Everybody needs a root beer. And Dwayne got a pastrami on some kind of fun funky bread. It's weird to be eaten out in public but I could get used to it really easy again. <laughs> but the one thing that I forgot to bring is my mask. Totally forgot those. That is the only thing I forgot to bring on my list. And they're not, we looked in all the stores here in the airport and they don't have any available. There's none for sale. But I did, I think Kathy told me, one of you told me, put Neosporin up your nose that her husband had done that because he'd always get sick from airplane rides. And so Dwayne and I both did that before we left home. So just praying, no germs, no secondary infection. And I wasn't too thrilled about the mask anyway because it makes the rash hurt even worse. But I don't want any infection either. Heading to the restroom. Let's see how handicap accessible it really is. If I can get my scooter in there, we'll be doing good. I think we need. Yay, this is, this is a good one. Look, it even changes its own little seat covers. Fancy. Here comes the tricky part, is bugging out of these stalls. Cause my whoop, scooter, I'm right handed and the buttons and stuff makes it difficult. Like you always have to have a hand on something. As long as I don't run over a kid, I think I'm doing okay. And most importantly now, I must wash my hands, wash my hands, wash my hands, and wash my hands, especially since I forgot that face mask. Can't believe that. I had two of these instant cold packs at home 
So I put those in my carry-on so I can use these on the airplane if the rash, well, you know, it's bothering me. But that way, you know, these are just disposable. And then I brought tons of plastic baggies to make ice packs throughout the week at the hotel. So, so I can stay cool. I know no shame. I'm not embarrassed. My ear feels like it's going to fall off. I'm going to hold an ice pack to it. <laughs> Actually, it's just a wet rag with really cold water. And our plane is coming in late. It's supposed to be here at 7.50. And it's not going to be here till 8.15. So we just... Waiting is what I do anymore, I think. Yay! Over an hour late, but we're getting to board. First one on and the last one off. So let that madhouse begin and then walk out here and get my scooter. It should be waiting right at the cabin door for me. Heading to baggage claim. Now just hoping our bags will be there. It's horrible when they're not. <laughs> That's a bad experience. Not my bag. There's my bag. Yay. One down, one to go. So my stuff made it. Now we're just believing for Dwayne's. And I believe that's it. Is that it? No, that's way too small. Or no, is that yours? Yay! We got both bags. We have clothes. Now we gotta wait for our taxi. One that can hold a scooter and everything. We made it to our hotel. So everything's going along fine. Looks really nice. There's the hotel. And I think that's my doctor building, right across the street. We made it to the room, and I am totally beaten. Um, still got to take my shower. So I'll show you guys the room tomorrow and everything. It's pretty nice. So I'll see you in the next video.